Hey guys, look, uh, I'm Cindy Corey here to bring you tutorial number three on the Far Cry 2 editor. A um, few things I need to explain and tell you about first. Um, check my Rever channel. You can view these tutorials in really high quality, and plus I get paid for it. So there's a link in the sidebar. Um, I need to write that down to remind me to put the link in the sidebar. Also, um, if you do a map, you want me to see it, you know, just like link me the map, and I'll gladly look at it. I already have a map that I need to look at. I'm probably going to do that after this tutorial. Um, also, a few things I want to clear about the objects. This is a strict map editor, which means you cannot add AI, and you cannot add your own what weapons. Um, basically, you know, it's a vi visual map editor. There's really not too much to it. Well, as you can see, there's not very much to it, but it has, like, it, it's a map editor. There, there's not much going on here. Um, so don't think that you can, like, add weapons, AI, and crap like that, because you can't. Um, you know, not, not much I can say about that. I think, like, the whole not being able to add weapons thing is the fact that, like, they, uh, you know, have you choose your guns from in-game and stuff like that, so... It really doesn't help you too much here. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, let's see. Hmm. I think that's all the updates. Today, if you're wondering, we are going to be working with the objects tool. Um, no idea what we're going to do with the objects yet. I'm just going to go through and explain them. And then I had a few suggestions. I was like, you know what? I could do that. I'm going to teach you guys some, you know, simple and future tutorials. Probably going to do like 10, 25 tutorials, something like that. Um, just like some simple mapping things that could potentially help you in the near future with your mapping. Imagine that. Um, I can't even look at that. Um, let's see. So, you know, let's go to the objects and get started. Spawn points, pretty basic. Um, you have an APR base marker, and you can spawn APR spawn points based on the things that you are doing. Um, of course, you have the UFL L for the other team, which I like a lot more. Um, that's that. Um, usually, you need at least two spectator cams. Um, add more. Makes the map better. Also, um, go check out my map. I uploaded it to the map community for PC. Um, search my name, Exantocory, and uh, you'll be able to see it from there. It's a very, very dense jungle that I did. and uh, I don't know what it's rated, but I think it should be rated more than it is because not many people know about it yet, and I wanted to announce that like I just did. Um, but yeah, objects basically, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. You got buildings, you know, stuff like that. I guess what I really just want to do is to show you how to rotate so I don't get this question later. So let's use the Colonial Church. Okay. Um, so, you know, from here... What is that? Oh, it's a ladder. Look, they, they already have the ladder built for you. It's not just Cry Crisis never did that. Um, so say you want to rotate this. Um, click this little key right here. And right here is our little grid type thing, and we so it face this way. Um, and say we want to raise it, raise it. Yes, we're raising the roof in the church. We want it to be there, and that's pretty much what that does. Um, yeah, there's really not much to it than that. It's pretty simple. You, you you got your utilities, bridges. Someone had a question about bridges and how you could make the bridges longer and connect them. I would suggest using the bridge that's like bridge end, bridge middle, bridge end again. I don't know. I would assume that you would flip the bridge end around to make it a bridge start. Um, you know, there's... Oh, I forgot about that. There's a lot of those that, like, have that. Um, unless you meant by just using, like, the footbridge type thing. And then from there, you know, I guess you could just... Uh, you know, kind of slap those two together. Don't know how well that looks, but... Eh. It actually worked out really well. And, you know, just how, like, that connected something going underneath some water. I don't know. Be creative. 
um, I don't know, anything like that really, um, was, is what you would use that for, um, yeah, so that's basically how you make objects in that little bridge request that whoever sent me, um, I guess that's how you connect them, also, if you did not know, if you just click on one, and, like, you just keep going, and going, and going, and going, you know, you can basically use things. Sorry about that, I had to pause for a second. Um, yeah, but that's basically about the bridges and stuff like that. I don't think that's too complicated. But, uh, in the future tutorials, I'm gonna really start getting into, you know, going hardcore depth with this, and, uh, stuff like that. Um, we're gonna start doing a bunch of this stuff. I'm basically gonna start doing a map with the community type thing. I'm thinking about doing a... I don't know. What, what do you guys want to do? If I were to make a map with my tutorials and we just go through and add a whole bunch of everything there is, what kind of map do you want it to be? What do you want it to look like? Comments, approved, just let me know and I think that's the kind of thing that we'll be starting. Um, other than that, go check out my rever, go download my map off the map community for PC, uh, search my username as the author, Xantocory. If you don't know how to spell it, look up to your right, and I do believe that's it for this tutorial on objects. Um, harder tutorials to come, so, uh, get ready. Uh, so Xantocory, signing out.